What's up guys, Nuance Bro checking in and today we're going to be talking about a viral video where an officer allegedly planted drugs, although that turned out not to be the case and a lot of people jumped the gun on that. So a few days ago on social media, a clip began circulating allegedly showing an officer planting drugs. This is what we saw. Hey bro, what's that? What's what? That you just threw in here. What's the one word? I got, I got you on camera bro. I got you on camera, we're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah. Now, this was a short 16 second or so clip that made the rounds and you see an officer throw something in, looks kind of like a baggie. And the guy says, hey, you just planted something. And then he confronts the cop about it. And that's where it cuts off. Now, immediately, my suspicions rise because I'm wondering, well, was that all the guy filmed? Was there video before that? Was there video after that? Why such a short video? Did, was there more of a conversation between the cop and the person who was filming? What was the aftermath of this? I have a lot of questions. I'd like to know more. But immediately, people on social media began to jump to conclusions. You can see here, for example, well-known social media personalities like Tim Pool, Vosh, and many others. Now this involved the Caledonia Police Department in Wisconsin and immediately upon this going viral, they responded. As you can see here on their Facebook page, earlier today, the Caledonia Police Department was made aware of a cell phone video that is circulating social media platforms depicting the actions of a Caledonia police officer we were able to locate the call for service associated with the cell phone video. The Caledonia Police Department is conducting a comprehensive internal review of the incident. Now, the police chief mentions that the complete review will take time, but that he's reviewed portions of the body-worn camera footage and that the small clip that was shown and gone viral is lacking context. But shortly thereafter, the police department decided to release some of the body camera footage, and this is what we saw. I got specs of green, you're good to search if you need to. <laughs> Corner cut. What's that? What's what? What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera, we're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah, because it was in his pocket and I don't want to hold on to it. That's on their body cam that they took it off of him, so. You just threw that in here, bro. I got you on camera, man. I'm telling you where it came from, so. I got you on camera, bro. It's an empty baggie at the moment, too, so. Okay, buddy. Now, immediately, you can see a few things from that video. We could see the baggie empty baggie that was taken off the previous person on the body camera footage. We can then see him crumbling it up and throwing it into the vehicle. It looks to be clearly empty. And we can see that the individual was filming before the previous footage that we saw that 16 second clip or so. The person who was recording it was filming before that and after that, yet he only chose to publish that short 16 second or so clip. Very interesting. We could also see the officer explaining to the suspect that, uh, yeah, it was trash. He didn't want to hold on to it, so he threw it in the car. Now, I will say, especially in this day and age with all the cameras and everything, officers probably shouldn't be throwing trash or empty baggies into people's cars even if it's not like them planting evidence or anything like that 
it's not a good look. You probably shouldn't do that, but it was not what was being alleged by the person filming the video. And the person filming it who did not publish the additional video that they filmed was clearly trying to avoid what the officer said afterwards, which was, yeah, we took it off your buddy that we pulled out of the back and that's all on camera. We have that on our side and now you have that on your side. Also, the person who filmed this video in the first place, the person you see in the body camera footage holding his phone, uh, was someone who goes by the name of Glockboy Savu over on Facebook. And here's what he said accompanying his post. He said, first time ever seeing a cop try to throw some on me just to get reason to search the car 100. He ain't even know I was recording 100. You can tell he was nervous 100. Hashtag trench kids worldwide. Now, I don't know what a lot of that means, but he was claiming the officer didn't know he was being recorded. If you watch the body cam footage, it looked pretty clear that he was recording. It looked pretty obvious. It kind of looked like the cop knew he was recording. And he didn't seem very nervous at all from what I saw. Now, in moments like this, when people realize that they've made a mistake and they rush the judgment, a decent person would often correct that mistake, apologize, or delete the misinformation that they put out before. Uh, and I just want to highlight an example of Casey Neistat. So Casey Neistat, who's a very famous YouTuber, is one of the people who initially tweeted out this out of context video saying, well, this is fucked. And then upon learning what the video showed was not what was being alleged, he decided to correct the record. He said, yesterday I retweeted a video of a cop allegedly planting something on a black man in a car. The video seemed clear, but like most hot takes, there was more to the story. I deleted the tweet and encourage anyone who saw it to read this more complete explanation. TLDR, which means too long didn't read. The cops took a passenger out of the car. The passenger had an empty baggie on him. The cop then walked back up to the car and threw the empty baggie in. The man in the front seat who filmed the original video only saw the cop throw a baggie in and assumed it was a plant. But then others like Tim Pool decide to respond to people calling him out for this with older tweets of his saying abolish the police and another one saying abolish the police, which is obviously not an opinion he actually holds because this is a thing that Tim does on Twitter where he's like, well, anything I tweet could be actually my opinion or it could be something that's not my opinion at all. So instead of owning up to the fact that he jumped the gun, rushed to judgment, he likes to pretend, oh, it was just a joke, bro. It was one of those tweets where I, you know, just said whatever. Kind of cowardly, in my opinion, for someone who has such a big platform, gets millions of views and all that stuff. And just because, why not? I'll highlight a little Twitter feud I had recently involving something similar to this, not police related, but COVID related. This is with a former host of a show on Blaze TV, John Miller, where he decided to post this video of a New South Wales health official. And his tweet says, 141 cases of COVID in a hospital, only one person unvaccinated. If science, in quotations, works the way the left says it does, this is definitive proof the vaccinated are more likely to get the disease. So let's watch this clip. Um, there are a number of people in hospital. Um, 141 people are in hospital with COVID at present, and 43 are in intensive care, 18 of whom require ventilation. So this is a very serious disease. Of those 141, 60 um, are under the age of 55, and 28 under the age of 35. And of the 43 people in intensive care, uh, one is in their teens, seven are in their 20s, three are in their 30s, 14 are in their 50s, and 12 are in their 60s, and six are in their 70s. So this is affecting people of all ages with very serious disease. All but one um, are vaccinated. One person has just received one dose of vaccine. So there you saw it. It sounds like the official is saying that of all the cases in New South Wales of when it comes to hospitalizations, all of them were vaccinated except for one. Now, to me, knowing that this goes against a lot of the data, especially, you know, what the government has been trying to convince people to do, which is to get vaccinated. Uh, it looks like he's reading off some numbers here and there, but then he sort of last second throws in this. Oh, by the way, all but one were uh, vaccinated. 
you know, it seems like the Occam's razor explanation would be he mixed that up with saying, oh, all but one were unvaccinated or all were unvaccinated except for one that was vaccinated partially or whatever. That's what it sounded like. He was, you know, he just mixed that up. So I decided to look into it, and here's what I found. Uh, Dr. McAnulty, would you be able to clarify? I think you might have misspoken before about the number of people in ICU that were or weren't vaccinated. Could you just clarify that stat out loud for everybody? Else? Thank you. Yes, I think I misspoke before. So of the 43 people in intensive care units, uh, 42 have not been vaccinated. One person had just one dose of vaccine. So as you can see there, during the same press conference, it was clear that he made a mistake. So he was asked a question. He came back on and he clarified the point saying, actually, the people in, uh, uh, in ICU that he was talking about all were unvaccinated except for one who was partially vaccinated. So that was the correction. He came on, he made the correction. He was quite embarrassed that he stated otherwise earlier on, and he corrected the record. But Mr. Miller didn't show that, and he didn't, I guess he didn't probably know about that, to be honest. But usually a normal person upon being presented such information would say, oh, dude, my bad. I didn't know that clip existed. I just, you know, was sharing something I saw on social media, but I appreciate the correction. But this individual decided to pretend as if he let the truth slip in the beginning, but then decided to lie after the pressure became too great or something. I'm not kidding. You can see his tweet in response to me saying some sort of, uh, you know, pretending like this is the quote from the guy or something like a, a parody saying, sir, I think you misspoke because the numbers you stated don't affirm our narrative that this is a pandemic only among the unvaccinated. Could you please restate them in a way that does? I mean, just unbelievable. Some people, they'll never accept any evidence that you put forward that conflicts with their uh, preconceived notions about something. Anyways, the moral of the story is, guys, don't rush the judgment, especially when it comes to these police encounter type videos. Do your digging, do your research. If you're proven wrong, accept it, be graceful about it, and uh, move on. You know, if you do rush the judgment, hey, not a big deal. We're all human. We all make mistakes, but be willing to admit your mistakes or own up to them and move on, become a better person. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Social media links are in the description box below as well as merch. Support us at nuancebro.com slash join, and I'll see you next time, bro.